truck is going on, ladies and gentlemen. It is Thursday, and it is your Tech Thursday with a little bit of throw it out there. So you can ask us any question you want, but we're going to be talking about our new truck services. Mitchie, more of a throw it out there. It is a throw it out there Thursday, not a Tech. No, we'll, we'll roll it. Okay. We're going to be talking about our truck shocks. Uh, we are now offering a drop-off truck car service. We are starting off with Ford Raptor Gen 1s. Uh, before, we've always done shocks on the trucks. Uh, or Sorry, we've done truck shocks that are taken off and brought to us. We are now going to offer you can bring up your truck, and we'll do a same-day turnaround for the rebuild service. What all, does that what all does that include, Mitchie? Let me tell you. David, can you move that way so I can read the signs so I can get to you look at the camera? Perfect! <laughs> Not kidding. Uh, what that includes is that is going to be fresh seal. Fresh oil. We are also going to do a little bit of proprietary valving on the inside of those shocks. And uh, that part of the stock that would help out the Scenario that we run into where it cannot be done the same day, but we'll do everything we can in our power to get these Gen 1s out ASAP. How often do you see, or what would your guess be of mileage on most of these Gen 1 trucks out there? What do you think? On uh, servicing the shocks? No, like what, what mileage do you just, what, what would you see as, as a normal met, like mileage? 70,000, 80,000, 90,000 shocks probably never been serviced? Give or take, yeah. We typically see, uh, yeah, shocks over 50,000, I would well, say. And this is Tim's truck, and Tim's truck had 40 on 40 it. On it. Yep. 40,000 never touched. Shocks were blown. Uh, car wasn't, truck was not riding very well. And uh, doing a rebuild, freshening it up, and getting, getting that internal stuff done. Uh, made a tremendous difference. Mitch, you can speak on that a little bit because you personally drove the truck. Um, what did you feel on that? Um, kind of normal truck stuff, if you will, like taking it through uh, washboard roads. Um, obviously, these things aren't going through massive whoops like an ETV would be doing, but we took it a little bit all over the place um, as far as like on-road driving and off-road. So found a good uh, washboardy road, drove it. Truck kind of wants to skate and shoot all over the place. It's a little tricky to keep it on the ground, if you will. Um, Tore it apart on, on the on the fifth side of things. Just took our normal UCB feeling and kind of put it into a truck, if you will. Um, but we dove into it, did some valving changes to it. Um, I'll tell you, driving this thing on a road does not feel like you are driving a truck at all. It feels like you are in a car, stuck to the ground. Completely changed the way it drove. It, it was kind of crazy, honestly. Um, took it back to the same washboard road. The truck felt like it was not moving all over the place anymore. It actually stuck to the ground. And you could drive it through pretty much anything with being in comfort. So I'm um, pretty excited for it, honestly. Pretty, pretty pumped and put these things back up to back up to life and get them out there. Heck yeah. So what we're what we're asking or what we're we're recommending, not asking, what we're recommending is is after you get your shock service, we're recommending about every thirty thousand miles, come back in, get them serviced, get them looked at. Obviously depends on the terrain you are riding in or what you're doing, but having them serviced about every thirty thousand miles is what we're kind of recommending and what we see. If you see something before then, obviously say something and get it taken care of. If you are over 30,000 miles, it's time to do it. Time to get it done for sure. We are offering this in both of our locations. We are out in Charlotte, North Carolina, and we are also in Phoenix, Arizona. Truck drop-off, trucks dro uh, drop-off truck shocks, anything. We are offering it only Gen 1 Raptors right now. We are working on getting different models, which is what we have over here. Gen 2 and Gen 3. <laughs> this be considered a Gen 3, I believe. I think this is a Gen 3. That's a Gen 3. So uh, we are going to eventually get some Gen 3, <laughs> Gen 3 truck stuff uh, going on. But for right now, we're going to stick with the Gen 1s and get that all rocking and rolling. What is the difference between our Gen 1s and Gen 2 our Gen 3? Our Gen 1s is the first generation, guys. <laughs> um, the Gen 2 would be the second, and then Gen 3 is obviously the third. Um, no, Gen 1 is going to be just your standard. They're all Fox shocks, but it's just going to be your standard no compression uh, adjusters, no rebound adjusters, anything like that. Uh, just your standard shock 2.5 front and rear. Uh, on the Gen 2 and 3, I believe that changes from the standard to electronic. I don't know 100% the difference between the 2 and 3. You'd probably be able to say that better. But I know the electronics change between 2 and 3. More of a live valve technology going into the, the newer Gen. Yeah, so, more technology. More technology. I the Gen 3 is 4 or 5 link in the rear versus reach spring and the Gen 2. So, but I know that they're both, they both have live valve options. So, which we could also play the game on the Terminator. 
moving forward. Might be able to adapt Terminator to them Gen uh, Gen two and three. Yeah. We're, we're gonna we're gonna be testing those. Um, I know Mitch has some plans to be able to test that and get those going. But like I said, for right now, we're sticking to the uh, Gen one Raptors. How do you get your shocks in here? Well, you would just call the shop 623-217-4959, Schedule your appointment. We are offering right now free installation, right? So it is $250 a shock for rebuilds, uh, plus the proprietary valving that we do inside. Typically, it would be at $250 in labor, so you'd be at $1,250. We're offering it right now for 1000 bucks. Get your truck uh, shock service. Yep. Yep. That's both locations, right? Both locations, North Carolina and Arizona. We are also... <laughs> ah, yes. We have our sign holder in the background. Don't worry about that, guys. Uh, but we are also starting something very new, too. And this goes across the board to our truck services, and it's going to go across the board to our UTV services. Well, we are off. I cut you off first. Let's talk about how much. Uh, never mind. Sorry, you cut me off. We already talked about that. I just said how much it was. In this regard. Never mind. <laughs> Don't mind me. So what we are offering is uh, <laughs> we are offering a guarantee. Okay, we are going to start guaranteeing all of our seals for three months or 90 days, whichever comes first, unlimited miles. So for the next three months after you get your truck serviced, uh, the shocks are serviced, if you have a leak between now and three months from then or 90 days, we will take care of it absolutely free. And that is gonna be on side-by-sides as well. It's not just trucks. We are offering that across the board, side-by-sides and truck shock. Now, as far as a disclaimer, as far as a disclaimer, there is also other factors that can come into play, um, like uh, going out and riding and picking up a a rock uh, on the shaft. That's probably more towards our our side by side side of this this whole thing. But if you've got something leaking or anything like that, and you've you've had work done from us in the in the past uh, ninety days, uh, that warrants a phone call, and we can talk to you guys about that and see see how we can figure it out. Um, We've also talked about ways to uh, mitigate the shipping side of stuff too. So we're putting this plan completely together and it's only going to benefit you guys so um yeah oh yeah Uh, our our sign holder forgot to erase pricing (laughs) which is why mitchy was confused (laughs) but uh (laughs) anyways um we are all still we are still doing other style truck shocks yes Uh, we'll do jeep shocks we'll do that we're we're doing other style shocks as far as the drop-offs for now though we're sticking with those gen one rappers yep more to come on that too we're, we're working on other stuff as well, so keep your eyes open, keep your uh, keep your feeds open, keep all your social meds open, and social meds. Social media, keep, keep an eye on. The plan is to dive into this side of our industry. I mean, this is right in our wheelhouse. Um, the plan is to uh, also come out with some more accessories, shock driven, um, for the not only the Raptor world but the truck world, the the on road world as well. So, um, you know, stay tuned for that stuff. It's coming. You have any questions for uh, any throw it out there? You guys have any throw it out there questions? Instagram or Facebook. My phone's being recorded, so we don't have any questions. We don't have any questions. We might be able to go. Also, guys, right now we are out in Sand Hollow, Utah, at the Side by Side Adventure Rally on the Rocks. Please go by. We've got Tim out there. We've got John Jacob out there, and we also have Jake Beats out there with uh, Premature John. So go out there and say hi. We've got our uh, we've got our chase truck and enclosed trailer. Uh, so go out and say hi. But we are at the side by side adventure rally on the rocks in Sand Hollow, Utah. They got parts. And- they got parts, accessories, stuff like that. We are not doing any installs, strictly parts. But uh, go by, say hi. Maybe get some swag. Let's see. Uh, one question: What is the difference in pricing for the shock that you got to take off the vehicle, bring in for Okay, That would be an that would be an inst- oh are you talking the jeep side or, or truck side or whatever yeah just all other box okay, so so we're not putting we're not going to be doing a lot of valving or anything like that in those shocks um so it's going to be a 200 dollar per shock scenario for the the on-road off-road truck truck side of, of shocks obviously if we're doing like bypasses off you know like external bypasses off of a race truck or or a free runner or something like that there's there's costs that will change there but any of the on-road stuff, if you've got like lip kits and, and you have um, Jeeps and or whatever it be, and you've got aftermarket shocks, rebuildable aftermarket shocks on those, we're right at 200 yeah. Well, if there's no more questions, I say that we cut this turkey off, chicken off, whatever we got. So we got a guy asking about a speed, a speed car if we're going to be working on any street cars. <laughs>
<laughs> so, ah, they're still at it. I love yeah, it. Take that, Rocky. We've, we've attempted we've attempted two speed cars so far to do some work on. We've not had a lot of success with it. Uh, I'll leave it at that. Um, but no, if you if you've got a car, if you've got a speed car that you would like us to do some work on, um, I'm sure we can get with Mitch and his team and and see if we can get it in here and spend some time on it. We would love it if it ran um, and it was drivable. We would we would love that part, of it, you know, first, obviously. Um, can you do 2024 Bronco thick shocks? Um, it depends on what shock comes on the Bronco. Um, I don't like Bronco. Yeah, we have to see what's on it. If it's a rebuildable shock, we would definitely be interested in helping you out with that. Absolutely. If it's a box, absolutely, box. freaking yeah. lootly for sure. And, and like we said, we're, we're not we're not saying we won't do other style vehicles, but for right now, we're just going to stick with the Gen One Raptors. Get into the Gen Two, Gen Three, and then uh, we should have a lot more cool stuff for you guys. Though. And guys, and guys, also, if you're interested in any Fox shocks as far as aftermarket, go on um, any any off road vehicle. You can go on their site and check them out. You can also purchase that stuff through us. So as long as you're communicating with us, we can get you that stuff. Cool, guys. We don't have anything else, and we love, yeah, you guys turn around, yes, Ben. Guys, show us, show up our shirt, show up our shirt. Oh, uh, there we go. You guys would like to buy anything that we've talked about today, or you guys have any questions, call in 623-217-4959, or visit the website, www.shocktherapy.com.